All right, what's up, my friends? Hello, everybody. It's Seth, probably better known as Jim stealing Seth's decks on the internet. <laughs> this is Saffron Olive deck, Empty Goldfish deck. Obviously, Seth is great. Empty Goldfish is phenomenal. The gold standard for content. Um, go watch them for sure. This Seth's deck I stole. It looks really, really cool. And this is a, an Explorer deck, of course, Pioneer on Arena. And this is a Jund Yorian Inconceivable. Land Destruction deck. Uh, so, what's going on here? Um, the deck is trying to exploit the fact that opponents don't play many basic lands. So there are four Cleansing Wildfires, which kills land, four search for basic. There are four Assassin's Trophy, kill land, search for basic. There's four Field of Ruin, kill land, search for basic. Uh, there's also the biggest LD spell of all in Casualties of War, which is super cool. And what's holding all this together? It's Fires of Mention. Uh... Banned in Historic, but legal in... Oh, sorry, it's... Sorry, eroded in Historic, but legal in Pioneer slash Explorer. And Fires is what allows this deck to play Yorian, basically, where you can just put it in your hand and play for free, which is really, really cool. So, uh, Golos is also a major factor here as well. Uh, kind of an end game with Golos. So you can go get the World Tree or Cascading Cataracts. It's cast spells for free. Uh, we got Fable of the Mirror Breaker, one of the best cards in the universe ever printed. Uh, Fatal Push, Thoughtseize, Innkeeper... Uh, I don't know. Deck just looks really cool and really fun, and we're just gonna play it because I I don't I don't know what the hell this is. It just looks freaking great. So Jund Yorian, let's jump right into the games. Brought to you by Colas Apparel. Colas Apparel dot shop. Promo code Jim ten ten percent off your order. Best Magic Apparel out there. Not even close. I'm usually wearing a Colas shirt, but today I'm wearing my Rangers shirt because the Rangers won last night. But Colas shirts are mad comfortable, super awesome, and uh, they're just great. Honestly, check it out. Colas Apparel dot shop. Promo code Jim ten ten percent off your order. Colas Apparel. Dot shop. Also, if you're not gonna buy anything, just go look at their designs. They're fun. They're just fun to look at. They're they're clever. Good for a chuckle. Put a smile on your face. Call us a pearl that shop. Gitro toe. There you go, right there. Beware of the Gitro toe. It's funny. It's just good. You know. Ubin the Sprite Dragon. Nickel Colas. There we go. All right, let's go. Double D in chat says, "Have my modern in two years. Got an event coming up. What should I play? I don't know. I have not played a lot of competitive modern lately. Let me be totally honest. So, that's a hand." Uh, that's a hand of magic cards. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. We're gonna mulligan. Opponent is playing, uh, opponent is playing Kahira, which means either playing a control deck or they're playing my Law Mentals deck. Uh, probably the former. Uh, we're gonna mulligan into a passable but not good hand. And hopefully they are playing Law Mentals so I can kill their stuff. And, uh, article, coolstuffing.com is my Law Mentals list if you wanna see that. Just your average... Jund Yorian deck. This is Explorer. Explorer chat. What's up? Playing some Explorer. This is Pioneer on Arena. They are playing Law Mentals. Oh my god, they're playing my deck, my, my, my video today. Check my video on coolstuffinc.com where I, I my article, I, I this is my deck. They're playing my deck from the internet that I, I posted on the internet. Look, see? See? Look, I, I'll prove it to you. I'll, look, look, look. There it is. Law Mentals. Go watch the video. Explorer Law Mentals. That's fun. That's fun. I like them. They're cool. They're cool. I'm gonna kill their creature though. Um, Get off my plane. All right. You own all modern except for MH2 cards. I'll tell you this, my friend, but you're screwed. <laughs> you're screwed. Play this thing. Play innkeeper and say go. Let's go. Content playing against your own deck must be nice. Must be nice. There's Risen Reef. Sure. So. We get to binding this. Um, the problem is, like, we're the LD deck, but they're, like, the put a bunch of lands into play deck. <laughs> and they have a bunch of basics, too. I think we're probably in big trouble here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, play land, binding this. And start draw, start the, uh, the train going here. Binding's good. You know, Yorian's cute also. Can't cast it yet, but we can't go with the, uh, the Abzan Triome and the Treasure. LD versus ramp, I know, right? Alright. Risen Reef again. Oh no. Trigger. Trigger. This is ETBs. So if they play another elemental here, I'll, I'll count to kill a fatal push. They get Omnath too. Uh, Omnath Locus Creation is legal in, in Historic. Or. I mean, Pioneer. I mean, whatever. Explore. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Explore. Whatever. 
They play a land untapped and say go. That is strange. That is strange. Search for a forest. Get the Indotha Triome. I mean, I'm gonna attempt to cast Binding, right? Like, why do they shock this in? Alright, yeah, sure. Cast Binding. Have like a Spell Pierce or something like that? No? Alright. Kill this. Alright. I don't know, folks. I don't know why they would shock that in, but here we are. Here we are. Crack Passage. Get a mountain. It's untapped. I play main deck of raid. Okay. So I mean, it's, I mean, it's not my deck. Huh. All right. Sure. Go on. Nah, it looks like my deck. There's a brush fire. And a fetch land. Sure. Do I want to push this? I think I do. No, just the raid. All right, sure. We'll leave it. Cleansing Wildfire. Put Kahira in. Sure. The interesting thing they would hold is Passage. Bugbear. Sure. Um, Alright. I mean... That's gone. I'm just going to Wildfire a land here. And just, just draw a card and just do our thing, I guess. This might give them the white they need to get Omnath online, but whatever. We have Fatal Push. We're going to do you know? No, so they're they're actually just not white, it looks like. Field of Ruin. Do I field them also? How many basics can they possibly have, you know? Or do I just play the play the bugbear? I put Yorian in my hand. We can't even cast Yorian unless he uses treasure. Maybe we just like play field and say go. We can use field for fatal push if we need it. Yeah, and we have five and three. Yeah, we'll do that. Play this and just say go. Because I I want to keep the treasure for white for Yorian. Can I have cast Yorian? No. I, if this if line came in untapped, I could just put Yorian there. Should have been better, I think, but. Alright, so crack passage. Island. Landfall. One of each basic so far. Cavalier of Thorns is pretty good. That's a boomer. That's a boomer. They hit Omnath, Chandra, Strangle. Maybe they're just playing the Lamanas with no white. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this, I guess. Play All right, I mean, sure. We're gonna pick up another land here. Pressure their basics, see how many they got. Gotta have at least five basics with the passages, I think. Maybe not? What do we got here? We got uh, a bunch of stuff. Forest, I guess, sure. They're out of basics, folks. But we're out of things to do. <laughs> uh, we can just cast Yorian for no value, but I'm not gonna do that. Cycle this. Draw Fires Invention? Great. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a Fires Invention, I suppose. I guess we'll cast Fires and play with the Bugbear and just say go. They're out of basics, but we just don't have anything. <laughs> like, Land Kahira here attacks for a bunch. How important is making Mythic each month? I mean, if you don't play in the qualifier, it's important, I guess. Otherwise, it's not important at all, realistically. The prizes are scant. Omnath. Oh, boy. I think we're in trouble, folks. They got a land, two here. That's land number seven, not number eight. So, they don't get to draw a card. They put a counter, though. And Kira. Uh, there are no rats in my deck. So, we're going to the next game. All right. Uh, right? Yeah, right? We have Fatal Push. Yeah, or we can play Yorian, Push, and activate Bugbear. We're actually, like, not that far off from being able to stabilize here. 
but they have one extra attacker, so they got us. All right, tough game. Tough game. Um, More kill spells, I suppose, right? Give me... Give me Noxious Grasp, and give me Flame Blast Bolts, and give me f f Rise. And let's cut, um, honestly, Innkeeper seems bad in this deck. Like, cut the Consumes All, it also seems bad. And then, Path of Peril, one Goo Blank, I don't want that one. Gotta cut one more card here. Let's use Push Bolts, which would be a Jewel Thief, maybe. Extinction Event, Binding, Pelucranos, Fable, Path of Peril, all seems good. Let's get shot of Jewel Thief. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, the latter is sort of just, like, the way to play games, but there isn't really a reason to, like, push yourself to play unless you're trying to queue for the qualifiers. Uh, but... Quinn! What's up, my friend? First time, Chatter. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a, a little fun, a little fun deck. From Fire Shoes, pretty cool deck. Good games, my friend. Good games. Thanks for following. Appreciate that. Uh, Jesus. Somebody's playing a prank on me. I I guess. All right, sure. It's not great. It's not great. Assassin's Trophy is uh. Not awesome. All right, so I mean, we have some kill spells and thoughts. These probably we're just like on the we're on the play down a card with like not much to do mana wise. Just thoughts easier. Double risen reef. All right, sure. Risen reef is by far the best card. It's like not even close. Uh, oh, they are playing white. I don't understand. I mean, my old version of Law Metals played white for, for uh, what's it called? Uh, the Big Pig. But, uh, I mean, they're going to go land. Yeah, I'll just say go here. I'll just kill this now so they can't uh, challenge push. I'll say push it as I go. Yasharn, that's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. Thank you, chat. Yasharn, that's the one. That's the one. All right, fetch land. So they're not casting the reef this turn. Pass priority. Push ya. Island. Leaf can sure. Right. Draw land? Would you draw land? You put Yori in our hand. The problem is that like we're just like not scaling up super well here, and their deck just like ramps and draws cards really well. Their deck is like the this is of our deck. They ramp and draw cards really well, and we're like an LD mid-range deck. John, reset, thanks so much. Good luck on championship. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Alright. There's Risen Reef. Get the card back. It's an unclaimed territory on Elemental. Yep. Yeah. And an Hellhound? Uh, no. No double value for you, please. Thank you. There's Hellhound. We're two mana off of Catches of War. That's a Field of Ruin. Okay. Uh, they have all their colors, so we're going to wait on Field. We have Noxious Grasp, too. Where should I go? Next land turns on World Tree, so we can play Yorian anyway, but like, we should have nothing with, to do with Yorian, so. Landfall, sure. Might just get here here? No, Cavalier of Thorns. Ah, crap. Uh, library. Or dies, exile, but that's our guard. This gets back a Risen Reef, too. God, it sucks. Alright, we'll kill those and some trigger. So they can't, they can't get better things back. So, they'll get back a something to put on top of the library if they want to. Probably Reef, I would assume. And then they're going to... Uh, we're going to shuffle, though, at the Field of Ruins. That's sick. They're putting Fable Passage on top of their deck? What? Why would they do that? Oh, for the trigger. Oh, yeah, I guess that, that's true. I mean, like... They didn't want it anyway. That's weird. That's weird. 
don't know. Like, I don't know. Honestly, folks, I got no idea. I got no idea. They got they got no gas left though, so we're gonna field them and hit uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. I don't think. Hit one of these and just try and draw. Honestly, land or spell is pretty good here. Assuming a spell is not awful. It's a fry. Uh, all right. Well, how about a spell we can actually cast? Is that cool? Kills the uh, the Kahira, I suppose. Another passage. Put Kahira in play. Play Kahira. Crack passage. Yada yada yada. This is still like. Fine, they're not really doing that much, you know. I did ask for a spell. I mean, it ended up being castable, so it's fine. You know, it ended up being castable. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right. They literally have nothing. They have two Leafkin Druids and an O1 and no lands. We draw fires. Uh... I mean, I guess we're just casting Yorian as a 4-5. It blocks this thing. All right, I guess. You can blink fires, that is true. Here we go, we blinked it. Now I can cast more spells. Now I can say go. This deck needs like Tile Shragger or something like that. Somebody to draw cards, you know? Jewel Thief. That's not quite a way to draw cards. It's gonna be worse, I guess. All right, cast Jewel Thief. Obviously, Drawing, can I cast this like the old fashioned way? Oh, I can, right? That's sick. Uh, but I don't want to because I don't, there's nothing I really want to kill. Like, all the cards suck. <laughs> they just have lands and 0 1. That's a card to kill. <laughs> I, I, it, it was, it, it was you. I'm caught in the act. Red handed. No, go somewhere else. I, I, this is, I, this is my deck that I built. <laughs> Hello, everybody, it's Jim, probably better known as Deck Thief on the internet. How's it going, folks? My name's Jim. Uh, if you're just from, from Seth's stream, obviously I'm playing the, uh, the Goldfish deck here. Uh, I saw it and I, I stole it. I thieved it. It looks super awesome. And, uh, now we're at one, but we're trying to come back here. First, we're the follow button. Again, if you don't follow MG, MG Goldfish, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Go follow MG, MG Goldfish. They're freaking great. And, uh, now you get more of his deck. Another fires though. God, uh, what are we at? We're at one. Ah, uh, we're dead. Uh, kill blah. Yeah, we're just dead. God damn it. All right. Uh, sure. We'll try. We'll try. Kill land. Kill creature. How'd it go for you, Seth? Oh, uh, it wasn't your deck. You stole it too. You stole it too. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. All right. Uh, so we're gonna kill the Omnath and a land. And like, I guess we have a fires in place, so we can't even like can't bluff anything. Whatever, just dead. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Rough draws, rough draws. The Risen Reap deck's pretty good against us. Pretty good, pretty good against us. Let's go. Let's go. It's all right. Risen Reef is bad for us. How did it go for you, Seth? How how did your games go? How did they go? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. KDM. MDS. Okay. On the play. Uh, Fable's great. This hand's good. We can keep this. This hand's good. This hand's good. All right, let's go. We got, uh, we got Fable on three, which is phenomenal. This card's busted. Battle reset. Thanks so much. All right. Hmm. Something to prove over here, huh? Opponent's got something to prove. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Okay. Cool. Cool card. It's dead, but cool card. Get off my plane. Untap and draw. Alright, that's that's fine. Mirror Breaker fixes all. This card is busted. This is the best card standard. It's not even close. Uh it's just such a good card. Just such a good card. Sure, thoughts is away. Do your thing. It just like 
Good 2-2, two, two, great 2-2, two, two, and Brainstorm for 3 mana. Which is great. Take a Golos, play land, and Sigyo. We draw Cleansing Wildfire. Well, now is the time to put them to the test. How many basics are in their deck? If you're, obviously, you're, you're just tuning in, you're watching set streams, you know that, that it works. So, uh, here we go. Let's see how many they got. Cleansing Wildfire. Float of Black. Sure. Wildfire says. They gotta have at least one. They, almost all decks have at least one or two, but... I'm gonna push the limits here and see what they got. They have one. It's a mountain. Alright, so... That and Innkeeper and Sigup. They still have one energy. Goal is next turn solid, too. They also have his castle in play, which is great. And they have Soren the Mirthless. Look at the top card. Sure, it's fine by me. And here, they're just junding. They're just like full on jund. Flip this thing. Um, do I have interest in playing Golos off the treasure? I think I do. I want to put this high with the Eye Tyrant, so. Play Golos. Gonna go get the World Tree, I suppose. We could, um. We could, uh. Get the Cataracts. So we can kill our own land with the thing. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get the, where is it? There it is. World Tree. Hive. Poke this thing and say go. Alright, I mean, next turn, activate World Tree, or activate Golos, cast spells for free, do good things. They find a Thoughtseize. Please cast Thoughtseize. Please cast Thoughtseize. That wasn't Thoughtseize. Charming. And Strangling. Alright, this is fine. Whatever. And Thoughtseize. No? Wow. Alright, well, we have our Castle Lock thing, which is great. We have our own Thoughtseize, which is great. Um, we also have Hive. The Pressure of a Sword. Yeah, I'm just going to Thoughtseize them first. Thoughtseize them. Easy. Hive. Easy. I think Sword's so bad. Uh, I guess the creature? And play land. Just say go. Your turn. We've got... I cast a Lothwain's like the nut. This card's just so good. Just so good. Soren draws Bone Crusher Giant. Kill my Innkeeper. Play Bone Crusher. So they go. Then we get to decide what our turn looks like. Probably just kill Soren, honestly. Draw Fable. So I can't really put Yori in my hand. I guess we could Fable draw off Castle. End step. Sure. We could kill Soren, but, like, they have Thoughtseize, too. So, like, if we kill Soren, they Thoughtseize. It's kind of bad. And, like, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do here. Um, why do I think Soren is bad? It's just, it's just, it's just not a good card. Yeah, it doesn't defend itself at all. Uh, it's just the kind of card that, like, you play and it just dies to no value a lot of the time. It's only good when you're actively ahead. I've played a lot of standard last two weeks, folks. I said with the Pro Tour, folks. Soren's a bad card. It is not a good card. It's an okay cyborg card against, like, control matchups that can't attack it, but... So much of magic is on the board these days, and you can't defend it ever. Um, so we kill Soren and hold Fable. Yeah, I guess you gotta kill Soren, I guess. Like creature lands, just all sorts of stuff. Ob's also not a good card. Hot take. Read my article. Read my article tomorrow on on cool stuff on Friday. I'll, I'll tell you why. So Ob is not. Ob is just not a, actively not a good card. Stupid, sexy Soren. All right. I'm sure we thought for so long they're gonna they're gonna thought seize me. Also, that was the greatest Hollywood of all time. Like, yeah, like. So I think forever we're like, all right, we have a good spell we want to cast, but we have his Yorian now, so. Um, all right, we're gonna play land. We're gonna draw off castle and see what we draw. We draw Assassin's Trophy. Uh, I don't really want to assassin's trophy this bone rusher giant, but I guess we're going to. We'll just say go. We'll just say go. Alright, that's a land. Alright, take two. Give it our opponent. Not the greatest exchange here. To, uh, 
to give them a land and take two damage to kill their creature, but... Well, so that's the trophy. The point of a deck is to run your opponent out of basics, then kill all their lands, so... Omnixilus is just... It's not a, a fundamentally good card by itself. There are definitely shells that can make it good. Be able to just play Omnixilus and have it be good. Like... Uh, draw Fatal Push. Let's draw off of this thing. Draw another land, jeez. Given that we have the this in play, I'm gonna play this land. Play this. Put your in place, there you go. Arena has a fancy animation for the salt the Soren ult? No, it doesn't. I don't believe you. Nothing has cool animations anymore. Nothing. Alright, um. Just gonna play a land and play Yorian. Just naked Yorian, whatever. So go. I've seen fight rigging. Yeah, I've seen fight. I've seen fight rigging. Cycle thing. Both players very flooded here. Very flooded. Just like Jun mid rangey stuff, bird. Maybe rush your giant. Sure. Alright. Now we're at seven. I mean, I ain't no coward. I'm drawing a card. Binding? Binding is a great answer to this. Cashes of War is also great. Um Cashes of War requires us to take to take damage though. I'm just a binding here. Binding this. And then I can actually Den of the Bugbear and leave up Fatal Push for their land, which is actually insane. So, attack for a bunch. They're one. Your turn. I'm going to kill them, right? I don't think so. If I had a way to get, to get a to get Revolt, I could have. But All right. So, kind of just uh, cast Locked Wayne, doing some work there. Doing some work. All right. So, we're going to bring in uh, probably Go Blank. Cut some of the spot removal. Path of Peril seems bad. Consumes All also seems kind of bad. Um, some Grasps, not very good. Fry. Duress is pretty bad. I just leave this card in or whatever. It's not great, but it's fine. It's fine. I think he's like is missing like a, a card drawing. I guess it's like relying on Golos to do a thing, but... Double Activate Den. Yeah, that's sweet. That's a fun play. That's a fun play. Alright. We are on the draw. LDing it up. Damn it. I'm keeping. Any land for Jewel Thief. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Bingo. Glint Sleeve Siphoner is back for more, sure. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to kill this thing immediately, so. Play land. So I go. Kill Siphoner, play Fable next turn. No attacks. Oh, it's these. There's one thing I got spells, all right? There's one thing I got spells. Yeah, go blank, fable, threats, wildfires. They had one or two basic last game. Take the go blank, sure. Golos is a nice draw. Golos is a nice draw. All right. Pretty easy fable, I think. I'm going to get the value going here. Probably just discard the jewel thief. I can discard the, the wildfire, too, honestly. I just want to cast Golos, honestly. That's a dead goblin. Ah, oh, stompy goblin. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Hive. Bone Crusher. Jewel Thief. Discard Jewel Thief. Now Wildfire has a target. It's pretty good, too. Alright. I'm just discard one Jewel Thief. The fire's crap. Uh oh. Um. I guess it's Jewel Thief. So there you go. Try and block this Bone Crusher Giant. Need some Landos. 
So our Pumpa Basics, they have at least one or two. Strangle. It's almost Lightning Bolt. Just like classic, classic Boomer Jund. No land again, but we'll play Fires. And play Fable. Let's go from there. Figure it out. Okay, sure. I don't know what the deal is. You know what are they gonna do? They they got they got they, they got to live their life. They got things to do. They got things to do. All right, game three or match three. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep. I mean, both these cards can be really good in the right matchup. Don't know if that's the case here. We'll find out. There's staffs. They go. Mardu, Thoughtseize. This could be a Grease Fang deck, which obviously would make Go Blank good. What they take here will inform what's going on a little bit. Find the Halfling. Nerd! All right. They're eyeing the Go Blank. They're eyeing the Go Blank. Nope, Golos. Okay. Land and Keeper. Just do your thing. Just do your thing. Do a barrel roll. Jay says, just got off work, and I am tuning in now. Forgive me if you already have, but any arcane bomb bombardment lists today? No, no, no bombardment lists. No bombos. No bombos. Um, so I want to, like... I'm gonna go blank here. I'm gonna like just wait on it, but Yori in my hand, maybe. Are we blanking or are we Yorianing here? Um, I'm a little unkind to just put Yori in my hand. Trying to get a little more value out of the graveyard stuff, so. We're gonna push my innkeeper. That's a huge win for us. I mean, that's just like, that's just not, that's just, I, I don't know. Sure. Do your thing. Wildfire. All right. Can I get a basic check, please? I'm going to get a basic check here. Got any basics? You got any basics? Eh? They do. We could basic check them again with this uh, Assassin's Trophy. I'm not feeling that frisky. Am I feeling that frisky? Are we feeling that frisky, chat? What do you think? I kind of think we're feeling that frisky. Let's go. No way they got a planes in this deck, right? This taxi, a new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Happy to have you. Oh, they're out. Let's kill some lands. It's game on. It's like blood in the water. So like we're a shark. We smell blood. Uh, smell and blood. Stone rain online. And then the question is, do I want to like go blank up treasure? I do not. Draw one land, set up Caches of War. Fable the Mirror Breaker? Sure. I mean, Caches of War is real good against Fable, right? And a white land? Oh, please draw land. Please draw land. Please draw land. Please draw land. Yes! Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! I'm going to kill a land, an enchantment, and a creature, and artifact. Sure, I'll kill the artifact too. Artifact, yes. Uh, creature, enchantment, land. Pay for it. Woo! So you get nothing. All right. Draw a swamp. I guess we're casting go blank. Blank ya. Discarding fatal push, deadly dispute. Two cards left. Three cards in three lands in play. Uh, we're not actually doing much. We have no way to cast Yorian. We have add the Pyro and fatal push. They're probably the. Uh, the Grease Fang deck, I would think. Uh, what's up? Swamp. Right. Thoughtsies. Well, I was right. 
I was right. Uh, get rid of that. And I mean, we're going to keep Fatal Push in our hand. Like, we don't have a way to revolt it for Grease Fang, but... They don't got any white either, so... That's sick they were so close. If I didn't kill that Fable, they would have had it next turn. We've actually been, like, on the knife's edge for, like, a while and not even realized it, how close you were to, like, being, uh, to losing this game. All right. There's Fable again. Path of Peril is pretty good here. I'm, I'm glad we held it. And a white source. All right, so we are one Grease Fang top deck away from losing this game. Binding the Old Gods. Um... I guess we're going to Binding the Fable and then it's Path of Peril next turn. It's a weird tap. It's a weird tap, but sure. Strong creatures mana value 2 or less. In for 5. Land, sure. Casualties of War. So, amusingly enough, we, like, I think want to cast cast casualties here. Because I want to kill the white sources. So, even though I have this Path of Peril in my hand, I'm going to kill the thing. So, kill everything. We're going to kill... Oops, hold on. I'm not killing the enchantment. So, kill everything but enchantment. So, we're going to kill artifacts. We're going to kill the token maker and the white source. Alright, sure. Mill over a can't stay away. Uh-oh. But that is a way to get back Reese Fang. Um, we are very, very close to losing this game. Very, very close. Three black cards. Any white source and we're dead. Any white source and we're dead. Okay. It's close. Um, we have Bloods in our deck. I'm gonna hold that for Fable, I guess. All right, go. Didn't blood. Not blooding is weird. Why would you play a non-white land and not blood it away? That's very strange. Very strange opponent. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right. Now what? No white source. Every turn, dead to a white source. Crack the blood. Discard fatal push. Draw. Not a white source. We draw land also. Say, land go. I guess. Both building a house here, always bricks. Play a non-white land. Oh no! The boat! Bah. Um Alright, so we can cast fires and cast Yorian. That's like almost not even good because it turns off my ability to push on their turn and kill their thing, but I don't have delirium anyway. Whatever. Just go, I guess. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Flicker it, say yeah. It's a clock, I suppose. It's a clock. So now we're dead to any white source or any three power creature. All right, there's a supplier milling over a white source. We draw another land. Um. Say go, I I guess. This is the turn. This is it. I'm feeling it. It's over. This is the turn, folks. No? Wow. All right. That was a great draw. Now we're talking. All right. Attack. If they miss this turn, I think we're back in the driver's seat. You got to miss this turn. Don't do it. No light source. No light source. No three power creature. Oh. <gasps> They drew the white source, but it's tapped. And I drew Field of Ruin. I drew Field of Ruin. Bingo. All right. 
One J, what's up? How's it going? Welcome. How would you call me to a thingy too? Um. Now I just kill everything. We just kill everything, right? You know what? This was actually the Stone Cold Nuts. So we're going to cast this for free. I'm going to kill my own Fire's Inventions. Here. Land, Enchantment, Creature, Artifact. Because I want to free up my Fatal Pushes. Kill this, kill this, kill this. Yes, and kill this. And now I have Field of Fatal Push. Like they, they can't actually win anymore. Oh, wow. We, we, we locked it up, folks. We locked it up. Play, I, I actually I, I had treasure treasure too, but like, I don't even want the fires in my deck. I mean play, I mean. Do this, they go. There are three. Locked up. Lock it up. No way to win. Guaranteed victory. There we go. That was the most embarrassing game magic. <laughs> for both sides. Uh for both sides. Hey, wait a minute. Alright, so we're gonna bring in our our go blank. Our Fries and our noxious grass is going to be able to kill the Grease Fang at all costs at instant speed. Here to Path Apparel, Extinction Event. Uh, consuming All is okay. Fatal Push, like, honestly isn't great because we don't revolt that easily, but this card's, like, bad, right? The Exile is a graveyard, but just, like, pretty bad. Um... I don't know what to cut. Pelucranos. Let's cut this stupid card. Cut this card and cut a Jewel Thief. Easy game. Flame Bus Bolt 2. Nah, this is fine. This is fine. Do our thing. I'm not convinced that Fires of Invention is actually good in this deck. I guess we haven't drawn Golos really, which is kind of like the idea, I suppose, but... It doesn't feel like we're doing the Fire stuff super well. Okay, so we have... A hand that can't cast anything... But can fetch red off field. I'm just gonna keep this. We'll just draw land. It's fine. I only have one basic, so. Go blank. Sure. Obviously, red land is ideal, but if we have to field them on turn three, it's not the worst. Harvester, sure. Lightning. Alright, pretty bad draws. Probably going to game three here. Just banking on drawing on a red source or interactive spell, thought siege, anything, fatal push. Didn't happen. Harvester, fires I mentioned. Right. We'll say yeah. We are currently repping that we have Fatal Push with the Field of Ruin, so that'll slow him down, make him not go for it. Hopefully, we can get our field going and then get our wildfire going. Get binding going. Harvester number two. All right. Uh, end step. Pop this thing. Ideally, they crack a blood in response, discard the power of Helium, and I go blank them, which would be awesome. Awesome. Kill it. We're going to get forest or mountain? I think it's mountain. Guess wildfire. Draw summit. Obviously, draw summit. Um, if we fire's binding here, we just lose to the combo. But. We kind of lose the combo anyway with anything else, too. I think just fire's binding, whatever. Fire's binding. If they, they got it, they, they got it, they got it. Play for zero. Kill a harvester. If they got it, they attack for a bunch. We are a land away from casting Caches of War, which is pretty good and might be able to mop up. There's a go blank too, so like maybe we can clean things up. Discard the boat, not the power helion, the boat. Shock a landon. Grease Fang. Alright, I mean, could have been worse. In for that much, we're at five. And then it goes back to their hand. We are grasp. Okay. Um, I mean, any green lands fine. So now I can play a five drop and a six drop. It's pretty good, right? 
go. Golos for free. It's funny, I might cash these again and just kill my own fires. <laughs> like, uh, search for, already have the freaking cataracts. Oh, I just get Field of Ruin. Honestly. I don't need World Tree. Just get Field of Ruin. So I have more shots at killing their lands and stuff. I'm going to cast Cadres of War. And I'm going to kill everything. We're going to kill an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a land. Get off my plane. I guess no Planeswalker technically, but still. And then I can cast more spells. We can go blank here also. Or leave up the uh, Grasp or Wildfire. The world's our oyster, folks. Um, so I can cast Go Blank, or I can cast Wildfire and Leaving Up Grasp. I think I like that better. So let's cast Wildfire. Let's kill their uh, their black and white source. Draw the Abandoned Mire, sure. Oh, Sigo. It is pretty funny how effective killing your own fires is. <sighs> Foundry, ah, oh, this game's over. Ah, oh, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. All right, uh, our catches of war, we can't cast it yet, but whatever. We just cast go blank and just beat them, right? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever, honestly. Play this. Need to land. Cast go blank, leave grasp up, say go. Kill some lands. Get a forest. Blank ya. Get out of here. So you get nothing. Try and get him down to no permanence. Going for the flawless victory. Going for the flawless victory here. No band. No permanence. No graveyard. You're up. On top of our Golos again. Uh, I can cast Caches of War. That goes shields down, though. But that doesn't really matter, I don't think so. Let's kill more lands. Kill land, creature. I kill you, and I kill you. Is one basic ever correct? Yeah, I mean, most decks play one basic. Like <laughs> This deck is not exactly a, uh, a metagame buster, you know? Thought sees me. Bring it. Bring it. Fatal push. All right, spin the wheel. Spin the freaking wheel. Oh, you lose a mana in the exchange. Oh, I thought this was just like a, a straight filter. So you lose a man in the exchange. You can't actually like use it with only twenty seven lands. I should have gotten the world tree. I screwed up. I should have gotten the world tree. All right, we'll attack and play this get world tree. Whatever doesn't matter now. So play this. Play a new one. Same thing. Keep this one. My bad. My bad. Uh, sure. I just get field honestly though. I just get field. Let's kill more lands. More fun to kill lands. I only I only, I only need uh, eight mana of this anyway. So. Field of Ruin all day. Oh, they're make, making some more land drops here. Bold strategy. Harvester, sure. It is fun. They still think they can win. It's fun. Kill this. Untap. Draw Field of Ruin. You know what's more fun than uh, activating Golos? I can tell you if you want. If you want to know. I'll tell you what's more fun. Putting your opponent back down to one land. <laughs> I'm actually going to have it at a basis myself. Field. Field you again. Oh, but I wasn't done yet. I wasn't done yet. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. That was fun. Uh, that deck doesn't seem particularly great, but that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. Uh, we are the baddies. We are the baddies, yes. 
They're grease, they're grease fanging. Come on. Come on. Uh, but yeah, that was fun. That was pretty fun. Folks, uh, you know, your basic lands, you got to put your basic land counts, you know? So uh, that was this deck. Um, where is it? Again, this deck, uh, apparently it wasn't built by Seth, but he stole it from someone else, and I stole it from him. Uh, it's like the money of Balkan. I stole it from Uncar Blood, I stole it from Seth, I stole it from this person, whatever. So there's your deck, pretty amusing. Kind of weird on fire, it's almost like bad in this deck, but whatever, pretty fun, pretty fun. We have one more deck to play, but YouTube folks, love you, like, comment, subscribe, you're all great. Peace.